What's it like following up the, your massive hits mm. with the next single? Do you have a kind of, is it going to go this time feeling? Uh, it's nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. And we were very scared. Um, but, you know, it's, 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 we're just excited to, to get out of the house at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it is, it is, it is very nervous, especially because the first single went to number one. So yeah, it's kind of that pressure, isn't there? that pressure. But, you know, it's fine. One of the extraordinary things, though, is, uh, Danny, that all, boy, all bands, boy bands, bands, mature bands, bands that have sold millions of records, try and break the states. And you guys seem to have managed to get mm. in a, a foot in the door very early on before, really, you've landed here in the UK as well. Yeah, and it, it actually it wasn't through choice. Um, <laughs> we were over there recording the album. Um, and we decided on the first single, Being Me and My Broken Heart, and a guy called Ryan Seacrest started playing it on his radio show. And then it started in uh, York, LA, LA and then New York and like spread like wildfire. So we kind of had to ride the tidal wave, if you will. Well, once, Ryan, once Ryan Seacrest's on your side, I expect yeah. That, yeah. that helps, doesn't it? Helps it? But it also helps if Scooter... Is it Braun? Braun, yeah. 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 yeah, Scooter Braun's on your side. Now, of course, he's the man behind Justin Bieber. So yeah. how did he get in touch? Uh, it was just it was just for a, a mutual friend of mine. I think they were just in the office one was day. Was it a mutual friend called Justin Bieber? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I call him JB. He no, I've never met him. Uh, no, he, uh, he just yeah, he just started playing uh, our, our stuff to him, and yeah, he just kind of called us randomly out the blue and just said, "I'm flying to London tomorrow to meet you guys." He came, signed us. Haven't yeah. looked back. Pretty much there just, and then, yeah. It's gone from there. So in terms of, of what's that moment like then? Louis, when, you, when you're walking along and suddenly you start hearing people sing your song, but without knowing that you're walking along or you're in a, in a cafe and you hear the music <laughs> playing and you're having some food, is, is, it, is it a strange moment? Yeah, it's really strange. I mean, we've, the amount of times we've been out in the States and in the UK and, you know, you see a car drive past and windows down a little bit and the song's playing, it's like, it's pretty strange. I was on my way, the best moment in my life, actually, I was on my way to... <laughs> other than this. Other than this, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I was on my way uh, to dinner with a girl for a first date and the song <gasps> came on in the radio, I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know it was me. No, but, no, no, uh, no. Was that in the taxi? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I funny what the driver said, though. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, no, he says he doesn't point. like this song. And he, like, turned over. I was just sat there just going, oh. <laughs> so it went from the burst to worst in a, in a, yeah. in a fraction yeah, of a second. She never called me back. So, yeah, that's always good. I bet she wants to call you back now, yeah, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh.